Hey guys, my name is Dion Smith. I play Kels in Outer Banks, and today I'm here with Sound of Series. Oh, more crazy, adventurous, fun, loving, amazing time. <laughs> mm. I'm going to have to go with the kooks still. You know, I the pose, are, you know, they kind of, they're, they're just kind of bouncing around, you know, always getting dirty, always getting their hands dirty. And, you know, I'd rather just live that comfortable lifestyle, you know, where I'm kicked back in my mansion. You know, I've got my boats and stuff like that. I would prefer probably the coop lifestyle for sure. <laughs> the most difficult part, probably tapping into being such like a mean guy sometimes. Like my character is, is he can be, you know, somewhat of a jerk and well, not somewhat, he is a jerk. Um, so yeah, probably that because I'm not really like that in, in person, you know, in, in real life, I, I feel like I'm the complete opposite. So, you know, tapping into that can kind of be, you know, difficult sometimes. Mm. I feel like he would want, you know, I, at some point, some type of redemption. So I feel like he would join, you know, he would he would do away with the kooks and maybe help the pogues along the way. Um, because Rafe is always up to some crazy stuff. So, you know, I, I feel like at some point they'd be like, all right, dude, you need to chill. I'm going to, I might need to go like on the good side for a little bit, you know? So, yeah. Oh, for sure. For sure. I'm going, I'm going to find a treasure. I'm going, <laughs> I'm definitely going to get all my friends. We're going to, we're going to go on this, this adventure just like they were in the show. And we're going to find the treasure. That's how I'm doing it. <laughs> you know, I always kind of had like a theory of like um, Pope and Kels being like somewhat related, like down the line, uh, maybe like my side of family inherited all the money and his side did it. And like maybe finding like some type of like connection together through that and exploring that more if it were a possibility. You know, I, I talked about that a while ago and I was like, that'd be like an interesting, you know, story for them to explore if they if they if they could do that. So I would I would say that for sure. The, the history, the family. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, the name of the movie is called Big George Foreman. Um, it's basically talking about the life of George Foreman, the boxer. And, and most people know him for his like creation of the, G the George Foreman grill. But like he has a whole boxing career before all that happened. And it kind of just explores his life, the ups and downs and, uh, you know, how he came back at 45 and won the heavyweight champion of, of the world again, um, which is like a record for anybody um, to do it at that age. And uh, so, yeah, I play his younger brother, Roy Foreman, in the movie, kind of like, you know, part of his support group. And uh, I'm just there for support alongside him throughout the movie. So, yeah. Oh, it's, you know, it's amazing, you know, and uh, it, it's special being able to work with, you know, family and, and create art. Um, the way I balance it is really like uh, just communication. Like if I'm if, I, if if I'm filming something, you know, I just make sure I communicate with them, let them know what I'm doing. Uh, and they're, they're so supportive and understanding. Um, and, and, you know, that's a part of who I am, too, is like making films as well. I'm also a filmmaker. So it's like I love being able to, you know, create art in that way as well. So it's definitely a great experience all around for me. Oh, for future? sure. For sure, for sure. Directing, producing, writing, all that stuff. I, I would love to, to dabble in every area. So yeah. Ooh. If y'all haven't already, go uh, watch OBX3, it's out now. Um, I know it's crazy, we raise the bar each season. So yeah, if you haven't watched it yet, go ahead and binge watch it. So yeah. 